Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak on iOS 11.3.1 and iOS 11.4 betas 1 through 3 for certain iPhone models. More specifically, how to re-enable the jailbreak after your device is rebooted. You may notice that, of course, Cydia crashes when you reboot. Now, most people know that you do have to reopen Electra and re-enable the jailbreak, but a lot of people are actually having problems with this. I asked you guys in the community section of this channel whether you're able to re-enable the jailbreak after you've already jailbroken and a surprising number out of 3,300 votes said that you weren't able to actually do it no matter what after a reboot. Now I did already release a video actually helping you guys fix a lot of the complications that you're running into with Electra. However, I actually discovered a new method that works almost all of the time. With this iPhone 6 right here, I've actually had a 70% success rate out of about 50 attempts to re-enable the jailbreak. I wanted to really put this through its paces. I was trying to get this video out to you guys last week, but I really wanted to nail down this procedure and all of the caveats. And believe me, there are a lot of them, and it really does depend on whether you're running iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 11.4. This video will be for absolutely everybody, and I also want to say that I'm already assuming that you guys are jailbroken, and you you simply cannot re-enable the jailbreak or re-jailbreak once you reboot. So if you have yet to jailbreak, then down below in the description there will be a link to a post on Best Tech Info that actually walks through everything I'm talking about in today's video in written form. It also contains all of the download links, everything you need on one single post. It has the download links to both versions of Electra, which we're going to talk about in just a second, and everything that you actually need to again re-enable the jailbreak on your device. Now because there are some differences in the process and actually what you have to disable inside of the settings app, if you are running iOS 11.4 betas 1 through 3 for select iPhone models, if you're on iOS 11.3.1 you're already jailbroken and you have the multi-path version of the jailbreak, then you can actually skip ahead. There will be something up on your screens right now letting you know the time code that you can actually skip to because a lot of this won't be applicable. However, if you're still encountering issues and you're on 11.3.1, then rewatch through this segment. Okay, now first and foremost, I really need to highlight the differences between the two versions of Electra. For those of you who don't know, there are two, and basically the only difference is the primary exploit that they utilize. One uses the VFS exploit and one utilizes the multipath exploit. Now, if you jailbroke and installed Electra from your computer, then you actually have the one that utilizes the VFS exploit, which tends to fail more often than not, and it's really tricky and and complicated to actually get functioning and to actually exploit the kernel and apply the patch and essentially achieve root access onto your device. However, the multipath version seems to work almost flawlessly. Like I said, I have about a 70% success rate out of 50 consecutive attempts on this iPhone 6 model right here. Now the reason why you can't simply install this one on your computer utilizing the 7 day certificate and you have to rely on an on device method is because the multipath exploit actually requires developer account entitlements. So if you don't have a developer account, meaning you pay 99 bucks a year, you're not going to be able to install it through your computer, which is why it's actually available via the on device jailbreak method that we've already detailed, which again will also be linked down below in the description. And I'll also say that it really doesn't work well on iOS 11.4 beta for select iPhones at all. So you're going to need the VFS version, which also means that you're going to have to disable more things inside of the settings app, again, if you are running on iOS 11.4. That's just the nature of it. But if you're on 11.3.1 or earlier, then definitely try the multipath version. And if you still can't get that to work, then of course you can always try the VFS one. It doesn't hurt to actually try. But again, most of what I'm going to say will actually apply for those on iOS 11.4. Four. However, regardless of which one you're on, 11.3.1 or 11.4, you're actually going to have to check to see whether your device has already downloaded an OTA update for something like 11.4 or 11.4.1 inside of the settings application. If it has, then it will actually hinder the success of either of the versions of Electra. So launch up the settings application, go to general, followed by iPhone storage, iPad or iPod, if you have a different device, and then you should see the update 
update inside of there if your device has downloaded it. If it hasn't, you won't see it. If it has, just tap into it and then delete it. That's absolutely critical. And then you're just going to reboot your device. Now, if you're on 11.3.1, after you've listened to this critical message, you can continue to skip ahead. There will be another time code right here. As for 11.4, you're going to try to turn off the following three things inside of settings. Again, it is conditional, so you might not have to disable them, but I highly recommend doing it just because it does improve the success rate. First, you're going to need to turn off Siri. Next, you're going to need to turn off Find My iPhone. Again, that's available inside of Settings. You just tap up at the top and then you go inside of iCloud and you disable Find My iPhone. You're also going to have to turn off your passcode. So inside of settings and then either face ID and passcode or touch ID and passcode, you need to fully disable that. Now, finally, regardless of which version you're on, you're going to enter airplane mode. And I've found it's best to actually do so inside of the settings app, but you can see I've already done so. So I'm inside of airplane mode. Like I said, I recommend doing it inside of settings instead of just control center, but that's just me. And then you're going to turn off your device. Now, yes, you will have to turn it off twice if you did in fact have an OTA update on your device, you'll need to turn it off again after you've already enabled airplane mode and then we're going to power it up and I'm going to show you guys the primary procedure that I've discovered that is yielding such a high success rate. So I'm going to turn on the iPhone and I really do hope this works the first time. Like I said, it works about seven out of 10 times or 70 out of 100 times, but there's always that chance that you'll get that 30% where it just doesn't work, in which case it will almost certainly work the next time. But this is the exact procedure that you're going to follow once your device reboots. The key component to this seems to be time. You have to wait approximately 60 seconds after your device is rebooted. As you can see, my iPhone 6 just came up right here and I'm just going to leave it unlocked. Of course, if you do have a passcode set and you're on 11.3.1 or earlier, you're going to need to unlock your device and just leave it sit at the home screen for approximately 60 seconds. If you've ever noticed inside of Electra why it actually says that it has to wait prior to attempting the jail break, that's why, because it highly improves the success rate of the jailbreak if you wait at least 60 seconds before attempting it. And then there's something else that you guys need to try too. So I'm just going to give it a few more seconds. I'm going to cut right here and I'll be back when it's been roughly 60 seconds or so. Okay, so it's been about 60 seconds. What I'm going to do now is open up the Electra jailbreak. Again, this is the multi-path version. If you're on 11.4, you're going to open up the VFS one. And then immediately, once it opens, you're going to enter multitasking and close out of it. Remember on the iPhone 10, it's a little bit different how you have to do it. But then once you actually close out of it, you're going to reopen it and you're going to tap enable jailbreak and it should work and we're just going to wait. Like I said, this is the multi-path version. It shouldn't just reboot at one out of three or two out of three. It should actually respring at that point and we should be able to open Cydia again on this device. Now I'm just going to actually let this play through. You can see it already bypassed one out of three. It's on two out of three and for me, it just resprings as you can see. That was a brief respring right there. And once it's back up, it should actually work just fine. Now note that once it does come back up and once it does respring, you're going to have to turn off airplane mode to actually use Cydia properly. I'm also going to say that there are a couple of other things that you guys can try if this procedure doesn't work for you just every single time. Like I said, entering airplane mode, rebooting, then waiting 60 seconds on the home screen opening Electra, force closing Electra, reopening and trying again. If that procedure doesn't work and it's very, very simple to actually do, as you can see, it took a matter of less than five minutes, really, once you have it down, it's super, super simple, then you might have to fully unjailbreak your device. We have a couple tutorials that I'm going to actually talk about in just a second to do just that and then re-attempt to jailbreak. Okay, so now that I'm up, you can see obviously we are jailbroken here. This is an absolutely fantastic tweak that I have installed, and this is available in our top tweaks video, which will be listed in your cards right now, as well as down below in the description, because I know I'm going to get questions about this. But I'm just going to show you guys that once I turn off airplane mode, that Cydia will, of course, open up successfully. But you can see I already, of course, have some tweaks enabled and going on here. So I'm going to open up Cydia now that we do have a Wi-Fi connection. 
and you can see that Cydia does load properly, albeit a little bit slow here on the iPhone 6. So the jailbreak is now re-enabled. It worked for me the very first time after entering airplane mode and following that special procedure that I discovered, and it will almost certainly work for you guys as well. I really do hope this guide and tutorial helped, and if for whatever reason it's just not working, then what you're going to need to do, like I said, is unjailbreak. So if you followed everything I've said in this video, even if you have to disable a lot of the things inside of settings that I talked about earlier, if you can get it to work just once, then you can actually unjailbreak inside of Cydia. There's a package called Semi Restore 11 Rolectra. We did a detailed video on it. Again, it will be linked down below in the description. And once you do that, it will essentially set your device back to stock. It's important that you do not restore from a data backup and you just basically start from scratch. Thankfully these days though, almost everything is available inside of iCloud so you can have almost all of your data. But really starting from scratch, if the aforementioned procedure doesn't work for you, will definitely help with the jailbreak. And then there's another option if you simply can't get Cydia to be re-enabled, then inside of Electra, what you can try to do instead of re-enabling the jailbreak is having this tweaks option at the bottom toggled off and then tapping it. Once you do that, if your device has SSH enabled, then there is a simple script that you can run that will basically do almost the exact same thing as Rolectra, except it will maintain your data. What it'll do is it will delete the jailbreak in its entirety and restore things back to how they were. The only thing it doesn't do basically is give you a fresh, clean start and fully restore that actual file system snapshot that Electra takes during that initial jailbreak process. But you're going to need a computer to do that. So there are two different methods to unjailbreak really. One actually maintains your data and just deletes Cydia and kind of restores things. It's not as fresh as the other alternative, which I definitely recommend. The semi-restore 11 rule Electra, if you can do that, definitely actually proceed with that, but you're going to need Cydia to install it and run it successfully. Again, guides to both of those will be listed below, but then just follow that basic procedure that I outlined in today's video to re-enable the jailbreak and you should be good to go. If you guys liked this video and you found it helpful, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Of course, click the subscribe button and ding the notification bell if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.